Just moments ago, we listened to the release of the much-anticipated Justice Department's Inspector General's report on its investigation of the FBI crime laboratories. And that report, basically, in a nutshell, says that uh, the FBI did use scientifically flawed testimony in uh, major cases like the World Trade Center bombing and the Avianca Airlines explosion, but did not say that any perjury or intentional wrongdoing had been done here. These allegations, the allegations that spawned the investigation into the FBI crime lab were made by Dr. Frederick Whitehurst, who is in our Washington Bureau with his attorney, Stephen Kahn. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for sticking around and listening to it. Now that the report has, the report has been made official, your reaction, Mr. Whitehurst? Well, I sat here sort of amazed. I'm reading down mm -hmm. a list of the executive summary of all these things that took place and finding myself accused of, of using poor judgment. Uh, I, I just, I find that amazed. I, I do want to say that I appreciate the hard work that a lot of people did to get to this point, but this is just the first step of the way. What amazes, what do you mean that you're amazed here? Well, I've got that they had a founding, finding of testimony beyond examiner's expertise, improper preparation of laboratory reports, insufficient documentation of test results, scientifically flawed reports, inadequate record management, and it goes on and on and on. And yet, at the end of this report, I find that I've been accused of using poor judgment. That, that's amazing. That's amazing. I, I'd just like to add to that that the IG said there was no perjury. But I'm looking on page 21 of the executive summary, and it says, we accuse a certain agent of testifying falsely. Well, false testimony sounds pretty close to perjury to me. Does I mean, that's what Dr. Whitehurst was complaining about, false testimony. They found it. He was, I've read every single one of Dr. Whitehurst's letters to the inspector general, and I will tell you right now, Every single major allegation that Dr. Whitehurst raised has been validated. Well, I must say that you have me at a disadvantage because I do not have that executive summary myself. But I will say that when I, I, the notes that I took uh, in, this, in some of my, Michael Brum, which is comments, said that they found no rampant intentional wrongdoing, which is what they said that Dr. Whitehurst had been alleging, and perhaps that is the, the, the term that they happen to, to, to turn, uh, the, the point upon which most of their, uh, I guess, uh, summations here happen to turn, is that there was no intentional wrongdoing here. The, that statement is just not correct. I've seen reports that the FBI has given to us in which state there was intentional falsification of lab reports. Now, you can play a lot with the word intentional, but we look down here, and what do you see in the executive summary? Failures by management, improper preparation, insufficient documentation. The problems are there. They're real. Dr. Whitehurst had the courage to come out and expose it over a long period of time. He has suffered, and that's where we find ourselves. All right, now, earlier, uh, Dr. Whitehurst, I asked you if you thought heads should roll. No specific names here were mentioned. They did say that a few chiefs or a couple of heads of labs will probably be, will, are, being, are being reassigned. Or actually, they're being recommended to be reassigned, and some uh, restructuring being done there. And they also said that they are recommending that you be transferred as well. Uh, do you have any problem with that? Well, of course, I have a trouble with um, being transferred, but it's not my position to say whether heads should be rolled or not, sir. My concern is that, that justice is fair. That's it. That's what you hired me to do. That's what I'm doing. And to say somebody should be punished, uh, leave that up to the court system that will review uh, the allegations that I've made, ultimately. What, do you, what, do you, what, what is your reaction to this, this, this uh, comment that he made about harm, and he used the word harm that you inflicted on an uh, innocent, uh, people uh, by your inflammatory insupport, unsupported allegations. Uh, I, I'd like to comment on that because with, Dr. Whitehurst made conf, wrote confidential letters to the Inspector General in which he raised allegations of indications of misconduct. That is required under executive order and FBI rules. You are required to report indications. You are not required to prove it. The, the, the Office of Government Ethics of the United States said you have to over-report allegations. That's what Dr. Whitehurst did. He had an indication, he reported it. The Inspector General had no expert on whistleblowing on their panel. None. We thought this panel's original purpose was a scientific review. And in that regard, we find ourselves in, in, in agreement in the vast majority of what they have said. 
but when they went off to an area that they're not the experts in, which is retaliation, they missed the point. But the point here today is the science, and Dr. Whitehurst was correct on his scientific criticisms. They, they, let me get back to your, your comment. You didn't bring up the retaliation. I, I did uh, leave that out. They said that you had made allegations, uh, Mr. Winters, yeah. that uh, there had been retaliatory actions taken against you by people within the FBI. They say they did not find any evidence of that. Can you tell us now what happened? Well, uh, three or four years ago, I was their lead expert in my particular area uh, of expertise. I found myself transferred out of that area. I found myself put into a training position. I well, the training position was fine. Uh, after I found uh, problems in the area in which I was training, I found myself moved out of that area. Um, you know, really what I did, I just found myself moved completely out of casework. And it looks like you're going to be moved again. Well, I guess that's their choice. I'll have to make that choice, sir. What do you think you will be doing, though? Well, I think what I'll probably end up doing is going back in the FBI laboratory and working as an examiner of forensic evidence. Uh, that's what I was trained to do. I'm a Ph.D. chemist with a degree in law. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. I know how to do my job, and I think that's probably where I'll end up, is, back in the laboratory. Is, is there any chance at all that you will end up being a witness in the Oklahoma City bombing trial? I can't talk to you about the Oklahoma's any, any, any open cases, sir, I can't talk to you about. All right. Listen, thank you very much for, for coming in and talking with us this morning. Good luck to you. Take care. Sure. Thank you, sir.